All right, this step, cutting them up to make them small enough to go in the grinder. Simple, not much to it. We're using five gallon pails of apples. There's 22 and a half pounds of apples per pail. We're gonna do three pails. And that's the step of the process. All right, in this step, we're taking the apples, we've cut them up, as you can see. And now we're just grinding them through the KitchenAid mixer, putting them in. And then you'll get this pulp here. It's pretty juicy, but it's a important step, because otherwise, if you just press and hold or just press and cut up, you'll never get enough juice out of it. Okay, now that it's ground, we have this pulp and liquid, which we're gonna take out and press. But before we do that, we're gonna dump it in the press bag, which they're available online. And they're not too expensive. And then you'll see we'll get quite a lot of the, the cider in here. Okay, so now we're outside, we're at our press. This is a homemade press. We just made it out of a couple four by fours, bolted them together. Made a nice round piece to go inside the basket. The basket we salvaged from an old press, but they're easy enough to make. Um, take the bag, put it in there, move it around. We take the blocking to take up the space. I just have a four ton jack, I got it from Harbor Freight, they're not really, they're pretty cheap, or you might even have one around. One thing I did do was add a little metal plate down here for the jack to go against, because when we first did it, it would crack. Let me just tip her forward a little bit. There we go. Okay, so here we are. We got the bucket, sterilized bucket, filled nearly to the top. So that was three buckets of apples. It was 67 and a half pounds of apples. It pressed out to over five gallons. This is a seven gallon bucket. Um, so then we took a specific gravity and it's right at the edge there. It could probably use a little bit more sugar, but uh, we're gonna go with this and we're gonna use a natural yeast. So we're just gonna leave it open and covered for day and then we'll put the fermentation lock on.